happy Halloween. I haven't made a video yet this week. Oh no, oopsies. Um, so I'm just gonna show you some shots of me and my friends making hats because I have to make hats for 12th night and I haven't made them all yet. And also at the end, you'll get a video of me performing my haunted house scene and haunted house is this thing where everyone walks through the Shakespeare Society house and there are spooky scenes from Shakespeare. And I performed with this girl named Laura who's also helped me make the hats and it was really great. And so you'll see that and also hat making, yay. Okay, so the first step is have a lovely apprentice and another lovely apprentice, Lara and Brigitte. Hi, Sarah. So just, so, oh, this is KP, our costumes master. Hello. In charge of it all. Um, so today we're working on making a hat for Malvolio in Twelfth Night, and it's going to be, a, it's a type of hat called a Beretta, and it was like, scholars mostly wore it, and it was the precursor to the like, the graduation cap, so it's gonna be a really great hat, and let's go. So, the step after getting an apprentice who dances is, draw a square with chalk on the back of some black velvet and then cut that square oh a 20 by 20 inch square for like an average size head which is an average size head is 23 to 24 inches then cut that square out so we're gonna do that now over here we have Laura working on the brim for what's gonna be an officer's hat Look at this. it's a very fine nice brim it's very fine craftsmanship in fact she's working on creating a hat that's identical to this one <laughs> Very nice. Now that you have your square, you're going to cut the corners off so that you end up with an oct octagon with equal sides, which I tried before and it didn't work. So we're going to try again, this time Use chalk with actually measuring instead of eyeballing. Turns out measuring is hard, so we're on our third try. We didn't mess it up and cut it. We're measuring first, but. So now that you have the octagon, so this, you can't tell, but it's an octagon, you're going to sew the corners together that you just cut off. So I'll show you what I mean. You're going to take this corner and sew it into this one, and you're going to do that with all the four corners. You're actually going to sew it, you're going to do this inside out so that you can turn it right side out and you won't see the seams that you just sewed. Now that you have the corners all pinned, sew them together. Meanwhile, laugh at your friend that has tinfoil on her head because we're making her a different type of hat that requires tinfoil to be on her head. <laughs> now take a dance break! So the next step in making the hat is completely forgetting to film the rest of the hat making, but basically you take a piece of velvet and you make that the brim and then you just sew the crown piece onto the belt the crown piece onto the brim and then you get this like really weird hat that um doesn't quite fit me because it's made for someone else but um it's a really weird hat that Mavalio is gonna wear it's gonna be very cool um so yeah that's kind of what I've been doing for a while I've made a lot of hats for the show um which opens in like uh, like a week and a couple days, so that's a little terrifying, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And also, I've been studying and doing a lot of stuff for midterms, but um, the pumpkins did last. They actually look really nice. Um, sounds like you had a really good time. I really miss you, but I'm going to see you so soon in like two weeks for Thanksgiving break, so that's super exciting. Oh, also, here is the clip that I told you I would show you of me performing in Haunted House. Rank. It smells to heaven. Now might I do it, Pat. It hath the primal eldest curse upon. Now he's praying. A brother's murder. And now I'll do it. Pray can I not. Though inclination be as sharp as will, my stronger guilt defeats my strong intent. And like a man to double business bound, I stand and pause where I shall first begin and both neglect. 
and so he goes to heaven. What if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood? And so I am revenged. Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? This would be scanned. Where to, sir's mercy? A villain kills my father, but to confront the visage of offense. And for that, I, his sole son, do this same villain. And what's in prayer? Send to heaven, but this twofold force. Oh, this is higher in salary, not revenge. To be forestalled, ere we come to fall, or pardoned being down. He took my father grossly, full of bread. Then I'll look up, my fault is past. With all his crimes, broad blown as flush as may, and how his audit stands, who knows save heaven. But in our circumstance and course of thought, tis heavy with him. But oh! And am I then revenged to take him in the purging of his soul? What form of prayer may serve my turn? He is fit and seasoned for his passage. Forgive me my foul murder. No, that cannot be. For I am still possessed of those effects for which I did the murder. My crown, mine own ambition, and my queen. Up sword. Can one be pardoned and retain the offense? In the corrupted currents of this world, a fence's gilded hand may shove by justice, and oft to seen the wicked prize itself buys out the law. And know thou a more horrid hent. But tis not so above. There is no shuffling. When he is drunk asleep, there the action lies. Or in his rage, in his true nature, or in the incestuous pleasure of his bed. And we ourselves compelled even to the teeth at gaming and forehead of our swearing to give an evidence. What then? Or about some act. What rest? That has no relish of salvation in it. Try what repentance can. What can it not? <laughs> Yet what can it when one cannot repent? And trip him. That his heels may kick at heaven. Oh, wretched state! And that his soul may be as damned. Oh, bosom and black as, as death! Hell. Oh, limed soul! Where to it go? That struggling to be free art more engaged. Help, angels! Make a say! My words fly up. Bow, stubborn knees, and heart with strings of steel. Be soft as sinews of the newborn babe. My thoughts remain below. My words fly up, my sins remain below. No Words king on earth thought. is safe when God's his foe.